opening day in Saskatchewan, southern Saskatchewan in fact, May 5th. I am in the southern region, I'm at Boundary Dam Reservoir, the first time I've ever been here and I just hooked into my first Saskatchewan largemouth. It is not a slouch, oh, she's nice and charged up. Look at this thing, <laughs> Saskatchewan. Are you kidding me, we have largemouth in Saskatchewan? I usually go down to Texas for these things. This is a beauty fish. Like I said, I'm in southern Saskatchewan, Boundary Dam Reservoir, chasing largies today. More of these to come, yeah baby. <laughs> I did a lap around here with the side imaging and I found a nice little clump of weeds. So as I went by it, I kind of waypoint at the start of the weeds and then waypoint at the end of the weeds. And now I'm just going back and I'm working over this section here again now with the jig. That's how I picked up the first fish that I never had on camera. Because to be honest with you, my uh, expectations of catching any bass today were very very low so i kind of just did some scouting a little bit first and see if i could find something and uh, once i caught one bass i figured i'd pull out the camera and do some recording so that was the fish you saw that came out of this clump of weeds here i'm going to go over it again and see if there's another one still in there see there's the weeds i'm fishing there come about three four feet off the bottom good cover for bass mostly because it's an ambush point the bait fish will come by those weeds and the bass can kind of just sneak out on them and nail them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right at the edge of those weeds. It's coming up. Oh yeah. <laughs> come on, stay down, baby. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to flip them in. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's not a slouch of a bass by any means. Oh baby, just hammered this jig. <laughs> Took it right in. Okay, there we go. Nice Saskatchewan largemouth bass. This is crazy, like a two pounder. Awesome fish, just flipping into those weeds like I was talking about. We get her back in. See ya girl. Okay, this is awesome. That was way up in those weeds. That's two, that's two bass, two bass, two bass. I need a new, uh, a new tail here, so I'll kind of demonstrate here what I'm using. This is what I'm throwing right now from Tightlines UV, just a blue crawdad. And I have that on about a, a three quarter ounce uh, jig here with a skirt. These just got from Texas, nothing special. But those are the weeds right there. You can kind of see weed, 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 weed. And I'm just kind of bringing the jig through there and those bass will sit in, in amongst those weeds and they'll ambush the bait as it comes by. I've had so much fun in Texas fishing for, for big bass. Like I got an eight and a half pound largey in Texas, 2013, I believe, quite a few years ago. But first time ever pitching jigs and flipping to, to logs and, and brush and you know a little bit of shoreline and it's just a different type of a bite from a walleye or a pike. It's really hard to explain, but it's super simple. You, know, you can use your pike rods to do this. You can get away with most uh, heavier walleye rods too. Nice brush pile there, nice brush pile. Yeah, oh yeah, I knew. <laughs> I had a feeling there'd be one there. Oh, it doesn't feel small. Oh, it's nice. Oh, <laughs> these are in Saskatchewan. Are you kidding me? These bass are in Saskatchewan. This is insane. I can't believe this. I've gone how many miles down south to find bass like this and they're right here in Saskatchewan. Southern Saskatchewan to be exact. <laughs> largey, like a three, four pound largey. This is so cool. I can't believe this. Unbelievable. Nice sharp hook. You know, super important with any fishing. Keep a sharp hook. Make sure it's really sticky like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Smallest bass of the day. 
<laughs> oh, I got him. <laughs> Look at the colors on this one. It is dark. Oh, baby. Crazy. Bass. That one hit it as the jig was falling. Smaller, but chunky. Oh, I am on him now. I am on him now. Gotta be a bass under that pipe, not? I would think. Oh, maybe they're in the pipe. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right under the pipe, just like I said. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This bass fishing is so cool. You can like call your shots. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, after I drop this bass on the ground, still nice species, nice specimen. And I even said, I bet you there's a bass underneath that pipe. This does not feel as fishy. Oh, just as I said, this doesn't feel as fishy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> these are not small. Like these are, are big bass. <laughs> I can't believe these bass are all this big. Like, are you kidding me? First cast of that bank. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Yeah, baby, bass anator. I'm gonna pull my wire out of my GoPro. So awesome. Bass, baby, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you know how I said this spot didn't feel fishy? Now it does. There's a bunch of weeds all out here. I never drove down this far with the boat the first time, so there's a bunch of people shore fishing down here. So I gave them their space and I didn't mark any weeds obviously down here. And now that I'm down here, there are weeds here. I believe my good buddy Jay Siemens is just dropping his first video log today. That's what the rumor is that he's been spreading. So if that's the case, I'll leave a link in the description below for my buddy Jay and his video log. Go check him out. He used to guide with me at Wollaston. We've been on some epic fishing trips together, including the Texas I was talking about earlier. White Sturgeon, BC, Tarpon in the Florida Keys. He is a full-time photographer and videographer does stunning work, like amazing. Started with weddings, now has moved into the outdoor industry as well. Just lots of laid over timber here, which is why I chose this little stretch. Lots of cover, lots of ambush points. We shall see. Really muddy though, which isn't good. I'm gonna have to land right on top of the fish. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fish in the timber, I knew it, I knew it. I knew there'd be a fish in the timber. Oh, big bass, big bass, big bass. Oh my God. Break my rod here right away. <laughs> big fish in the timber. Reeled them a little bit too far. That's risking breaking my rod for sure. Look at that. That is awesome. 
I knew there'd be a fish in this timber somewhere. Unbelievable. Everybody's running south. I'm like the only boat on the north end of the lake crushing largies. Love it. You know, I, I chose today to, to pitch and flip jigs, but I, I feel like I could have caught these fish today with some crank baits and maybe some swim baits as well. But that, that was kind of my goal today was to catch these fish pitching, flipping, jig fishing. It's just so much fun pitching jigs. Yes! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, we're going to end it right there. I was hoping to catch one more fish. I ended up catching one more. Like, puts me a 10 total. Oh, this is not a big one. This is one of the smaller ones of the day for sure. A couple pounder. But it's been awesome got 10 total largies it's been a wonderful day thank you very much i will be back okay i should make note i said that was going to be the last spot of the day so i am i'm packing her up right now and in fact i'll grab the gopro here when i said that was gonna be the last spot of the day that in fact was kind of where i started the day here you see these two waypoints waypoint one waypoint two I caught one fish up here earlier in the day and now I ended up catching one in the middle about right in here. But you know, because I made those two waypoints earlier in the day, I could come back to them at the end of the day and it definitely worked out. <laughs>